announcement for anybody that wants to go out to the island. Just to let you know, there is a $10 admission charge to the island for adults. You pay that when you get over there, and it doesn't matter whether you walk or ride, it's the same. And uh, they do take cash or credit cards. If you'd like to go, you're welcome to get on board. Everybody here should be able to make it. The lighthouse until we get to the island. When we get to the island, we'll come out of the water, go up a little incline, and the road will turn to the left. When the road turns to the left, then look straight ahead, and you'll see the lighthouse for the first time. We built the lighthouse here in 1869, and this is the 152nd year that it's in operation. The Coast Guard is responsible for seeing that the light goes on every night. However, it is fully automated, so there's no longer someone that lives on the island and tends the light. The Coast Guard can do it all from their station down the lake. <laughs> One of the really unique things about the Cane Island Lighthouse is that it still has its original lens in operation. The lens came from Paris, France in 1869. It weighs about 2,000 pounds. It's a mm -hmm. five foot tall brass frame with all sorts of glass prisms at very precise angles. And it takes the light from one 250 watt bulb and projects that out on the lake. And it's visible up to 17 miles on a clear night. Mm -hmm. So pretty good technology mm -hmm. for 1869. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have the opportunity today to get up close and personal with that lens if you're willing to climb approximately 100 stairs. You're gonna be going around and around, and at some point you're gonna wonder why the guy in the tractor told you to do it. So, the lens is pretty special at the top and the view is spectacular, so consider it. Um, and the other thing I wanna to touch on is our trip to the island today. No other way to say it, it's not gonna be the smoothest ride you ever had. I am driving on the bottom of Lake Michigan, not on a nice improved road, and we're gonna bounce a little bit. You want to make sure that you know where loose objects like your cell phones and your car keys are because you don't want to be looking for those later. Any questions for me before we go? Okay, I'll have you over there in just a couple minutes.
Sinseria. Meron nung dalawang 